how do I lower my cholesterol kindly? You don't need to lower cholesterol. There's nothing wrong with cholesterol. What you need to lower is the estrogen that is going to cause your liver to produce excess cholesterol. Okay? And that will crystallize and give you the gallstones. Please tell us about irregular menstrual cycle. I've talked about estrogen dominance. You have a live that I did on estrogen dominance. It's on YouTube. Just go and search estrogen dominance health and wellness sport. You'll see a whole live that we talked about these issues. And menstruation is not supposed to be painful. Uh, when you've normalized painful menstruation because of what you've gone through. Although you've known pain during menstruation. But trust me, your menstruation is not supposed to be painful. I am on phone and it's loud and clear. That's a grace word. Yeah, it's loud and clear. And also my team is telling me it's okay. How about asthma? I've talked about asthma on YouTube. How to treat erectile dysfunction? You don't treat erectile dysfunction. You boost testosterone and erectile dysfunction disappears. Erectile dysfunction is a symptom of high estrogen and a symptom of low testosterone. Do the balance. So you don't treat symptoms. Go and treat the causes. Doc, is chicken liver as nutritious as cow liver? Every animal liver is perfect for you. Consume it. How to boost testosterone? What can I consume? Do not consume uh, sugars. Do not consume wheat. Do not consume uh, seed oils. And then start fasting. Do one meal a day. It's very important. Go to the gym. Take cold showers. Okay? Yeah, fasting, eating healthy, cold showers. And then retain your semen. You don't have to. You don't have to boost testosterone. I know most times when men ask me, "How do I boost testosterone?" They're actually telling me, "How do I get the energy to perform with multiple sex partners?" That's a weird way of looking at things. You're boosting testosterone to increase your masculine side. You're not boosting it to just have random sex. And the reason why you're having erectile dysfunction is because you're ejaculating all the time. Okay. How do you fast for BP? Fasting is for everybody. It's not fasting for blood pressure. You must eat healthy before starting uh, the fast. You must eat healthy. And I've talked about hypertension all over. Yes, Sonibik. Hello, Doc. How are you? I'm doing well. All is well. How are you? Not really wait. Please, ra please raise your voice a little bit. Repeat that. They say that fibroids. Yes. It's mostly related with uh, the implants. Okay. And then you talked about um, an enlargement of the what? Um, the prostate. You think male? Yes, enlargement. Yeah. They also say the same. It's uh, most related with the uh, blood. So you had most of the doctors telling us, you um, even in getting when you go for seminars, most of the Africans have this problem of fibroids and and this enlargement of whatever. Yeah. So yeah. how do some some truth in it and 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 some false in it? But the truth is, Africans eat everything. They eat every product. They even ignore their own foods and go ahead and take those foods that are coming from those people. The products. They're not even foods. So we consume everything. We are addicted to sugars. We are doing everything possible to maintain ourselves in the sick uh, place. So yes, some truth in it. However, an enlarged prostate and fibroids have nothing to do with rest. They have everything to do with estrogen levels and insulin levels. So even if you are a white person and you're eating unhealthy foods, you still end up in the same path. So this narrative that they propagate, oh, research says more blacks are... Actually, in if any case, we know very well that research agrees with whoever is funding it. 98% hmm? of research is agreeing with whoever is funding it. Therefore, we can't trust it. And the reality is, yes, Africans are eating a lot of products instead of eating foods. They have ditched their own foods and went ahead to eat products that are coming from the industries. What do we expect? Africans are those who are taking in the contraceptives without asking questions because they think that somebody is coming out from outside to help them control their bath when their men are the ones who have the seed. Their men are the ones who are ejaculating every night. Their men cannot use condoms. So therefore, if you're waiting for somebody to come outside and tell you that, he will actually sell you the word that you really want. He will tell you that so that you can actually become a slave. Do not allow slavery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, son. Karibu sana. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming through. Amazing. Amazing. I am on Omed. Madilo, it is Omad, one meal a day. I eat mainly avocado and five boiled eggs per day, but I suffer from tingling feet and hands. Now, how long have you been on Omad? How long have you eaten eggs? How long have you eaten unhealthy food before transitioning to this? <laughs> These are the questions that you should tell us. 
How long have you fasted before? And how long have you fasted? Are you fasting now? Have you done a 24 hour fast? Have you done a HbA1c to see you if you are pre diabetic? You need all those things. Have you done a CRP test to see how inflamed your system is? So you need a lot of things here. It's hard for you to just pin down. You know, most of you pin down your suffering on healthy foods. Somebody eats healthy foods for a week and then they start telling me, oh, you know, this is not working. I got a headache because I ate these foods. I'm like, you did not get a headache because you're eating these foods. Don't you see it? It is a transitional phase from you being a carbohydrate dependent person to now a fat adapted person. Okay, so don't be quick to judge diets. <laughs> Hang in there. Rehydrated salt and water, keep moving. What is the best time to take fermented milk? Just the same time you take fermented cabbage, you use it to break a fast. Okay. Yes, uh, Bex. Hi, Doc. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I wanted to ask something. Yes. Uh, I used to menstruate before, mm. but currently I'm not. I think it's been like six months. I've not had my menses. Mm. But I've been listening for you for a while. I've changed my diet. Mm -hmm. I've been fasting for 18, sometimes 20 hours. Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to confirm, is it PCOS? Is it reversible or... Who, who, who even put in your head the issue of PCOS? Just by Googling. And you've been listening to me for how long again? Like one month. Mm. Have you watched my video on YouTube that talks about estrogen dominance? Mm. Mm. No. Why don't you find that video and just sit down? The one that I've... It's about two hours of a live that was talking about estrogen dominance and all these issues have been addressed there. So why don't you do yourself a good favor? Sit down, go and search estrogen dominance on health and wellness spot on YouTube and watch it and understand it and mm -hmm. simply do exactly what that video says. Okay. Amazing. Sour, sour. Amazing. Amazing. Your periods will you. come back. Your periods will come back. Everything will normalize and you will be so amused that your periods had gone nowhere. They were just somewhere hanging there. <laughs> okay. Yanni Dog, two weeks ago, my auntie was on my case. My grandpa is 72 and has gastritis. I introduced him to the hose doctrine which he was very receptive uh, to. And he actually dropped all the unhealthy foods. Well, one month down the line, he mentioned that he feels better. His daughter went visiting a week ago, and I'm telling you <laughs> that on that eve, she was on my neck. We spoke for an hour. She claimed that I'm killing. I think I'm killing my grandpa. Listen, that's how they react to it. That's why we have all these identity issues everywhere. So people still think that if you eat healthy, you're going to die. And you see, all of us are constantly chasing what we lacked when we were young. They think, you see, let me tell you, we're heading into a month of Christmas, that month of December, Sharia Sharia. That is a month that everybody wants to flex their muscles. I mean, we've saved all the whole year to just have this Sharia in the village. And when I was a young boy, our aunties from the cities and our uncles from the cities would come with these big music systems, these big screens, and in the village, seeing a screen was something else, my friend. Imagine them projecting songs. <laughs> projecting songs, and you sit sitting there, you have to watch these songs and watch those, uh, those movies. So, uh, they, uh, what, something for Christ or something. So there was a movie that was very famous when we were young about how Jesus was crucified and all that, and we will feel emotional, and after feeling emotional now, it's time for us to eat cakes and eat brown chapati and celebrate with soda. And then we are so angry about these guys who crucified Jesus. You guys remember those? <laughs> so it's coming. So everybody was flexing. And that's the life I, I wanted. I really thought, this is the best life. Imagine these guys doing all this. I want this life. And at that moment in time in our village, we used to believe that there are diseases for the rich. Diabetes or disease for the rich. I mean, how, how can diabetes come in the village when I'm doing one meal a day? I'm in the farm. Digging the whole day, sweating like crazy. I'm taking care of animals. By the time I'm sitting down to eat my supper, I am so tired. So how, how can diabetes be in the village? But now, even a nine-year-old has diabetes and is in the village. Because the life that we used to envy, we have it now. We can afford it now. So now what do we do? Because of those who cannot afford it in the village, we pretend we are so charitable. We buy these unhealthy foods in towns and we ferry it down to the villages. See how our own people, our own celebrities are doing charity. 
they buy all these unhealthy foods to take them to to do a birthday party in a in an orphanage in a children's home and they say oh you know and they take the videos and they post it that's the life that they're actually putting and indoctrinating these children in the orphanage that if i come out of here and i'm successful this is what i'm i want to do i want to eat healthy as this celebrity i want to be this i want to be able to go into a hotel and eat and get satisfied and walk out without even worrying about the bill that is what we kept on chasing and i realized all of us were running away from a past and we end up attracting the same past so we keep on fighting our past we keep on running away from who we were the poverty which was basically eating healthy foods we were comfortable but now because we have some chingli we have some money this is the right life to live right and then we are chasing it and then when we get it now we have to chase hospitals and all that money that we are making goes back to the healthcare systems so therefore and learn and learn move with those who want to move with you and i told you when you're trying to lead a healthy life your parents your siblings your spouse are the first people to block you from doing it because they don't believe it they think you're joining a cult how many of you almost broke their marriages because of dr lewis how many of you how many of you still call me shakahola how many doctors hate me so much because they but they don't hate me as a person they don't even have a problem with what i'm posting they hate the fact that they cannot do what i'm doing and they hate the fact that most of their clients are actually leaning this side of healthy living and they cannot go back so they are losing customers and clients so they hate themselves for not being able to do what i'm doing which is okay we allow that but you see hate is weakness is the nature of evil inside you so as you hate me you're propelling me to the level, next level why because you're actually pushing your people towards me and you're hating the truth you're resisting the truth so you're the nature of evil identity friday is coming through amazing so yes you <laughs> yeah i'm glad that you had that conversation with her and i hope she actually gets it there's another interesting story here uh, just a minute sir Uh, Blackman King is saying same case Priscilla here my bro was given some medications and i realized there were sugars and multivitamins a e d k i also realized he is overweight 85 kg at 5 ft 10 i have introduced him to our community he is supposed to go back for an appointment on january he has swollen feet sometimes darkened skin when exposed to the sun i am sure he will be okay here is where we fix those people now you've done your job your job is to actually bring them here let them learn after that wachana now wachana now let them do what they have to do now yes uh, who is this uh, this is uh, alisa alisa are you there yeah, good evening good evening how are you yes i'm here um getting bed how are you all is well we thank god talk to us yeah doc um i've been having shortness of breath okay for a month now i've uh, done all the tests from the hospital mm-hmm. everything is okay we did the ecg we did the echo the echo was okay the ecg was okay my bp was okay mm-hmm. my full blood count was okay okay you're pregnant my analysis was okay no okay what is your current body weight so i guess we, um i'm 50, 52 and what is your height mm 5 5 to 6 anyway make it quick for us how would you want me to help you I don't know what steps I can take for me to stay to feel better. How long have you been on this platform? Um 8 months. You've been on this platform for 8 months and you are not feeling better. Yeah, but I've been taking water with a pinch of salt. What is your cooking oil? Um on, on uh, good fruits, cucumber. <laughs> vegetable oil <laughs> thank you thank you very much for coming you can't troll us you can't troll us here you can't do that you cannot do that i mean we are we are busy we are busy changing lives and imagine you coming here telling me you've been here for eight months 
and you're laughing about it that oh you know i'm using vegetable oil <laughs> and i'm having difficulty in the breathing <laughs> please please you just continue using those vegetable oils until you get to a place where you cannot breathe anymore okay we will come for you we will come with an oxygen machine on you and then we'll refer you to hospitals because your health is in hospitals okay that's crazy Aye. How? Eight months. <laughs> somebody was <laughs> somebody who has followed me for two months has a different story. Two months. You followed me for eight months and you're still using vegetable oils. And you laughed because you knew the next thing that I was going to say. I didn't have to waste time on that one. Let's go. Next. Uh, who is this? Health and wellness sport has existed for about one year and eight months or so. And you you eight months down the line, you're still using vegetable oils. And you're wondering why you have clogged arteries. You're wondering why you have this blocked nosage and the sinuses. Amazing. Yes, uh, Jazz Brav uh, you. Yes, my Stella. Okay, okay, Stella. Why, why Jazz Brav new? <laughs> Uh, ni baby shop. It's a name for uh, my baby shop. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, go ahead, talk to us. How are you? I'm fine. Nilikuwa mm. nataka kuuliza, nimekufuata for one week, I think one week inaisha leo. One week? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shidangu ni after nime nilijifungua like uh, nilimaliza one year ndio nianze ku receive my period Mhm mm uh, alafu venye nilianza ku receive nikikaribia ni, 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 na umwa na matiti na mkono moja Mhm on my left side Okay so after nikisha maliza ku receive nina rudi normal naweza kuwa na shida gani you've not received your periods for one year and then you start receiving the periods you have this pain all over uh, what is the age of your last born ako one year to two months what is the contraceptive method that you're using hakuna yenye natumia okay and uh, uh and and these pains only come in when you're about to get your cycle yeah what is your body weight niko 75 kg mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> okay 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 uh, allow me to ask you this uh what have you learned on my platform nini umesoma hapa in that one week okay. that you've been here, what have you learned? Ah, uh, nime angalia angalia video nime learn vitu nafaa kutumia. Kama sifai kukula hizi hipo ama any. Mm. So um, kama <laughs> mabaga na pan. Yo 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 me learn kwa platform yangu. Eh sana sana on diet nafaa ni 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 nikula vitu kama maragwe samaki ah alafu ni nini umefanya tayari what yeah. have you done differently in that one week i uh, ni me fast like two days okay what else eh alafu ni me change diet kiasi in one week Eh yeah. ni nini umechange mafuta yako kupika ni gani? Wana tumia rina. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Unakula ngano? Ah ah. Mm. Na ugali na mchele? Tumi ngano. Hapana na nakula hizi ngoashe na ndoma. Mm na avocado yeah. so, so since you've done it for only one week why don't you do it frequent why don't you do it for about four weeks ndo nimeanza eh hey, so you went there alafu wachana na rina go and look at the what I'm advocating for for the cooking fats and do that 
you deserve better. You have to bring that weight below 70 kgs. And I've talked about how to lose weight on my YouTube. Uh, YouTube need after two weeks in a health and... Wellness sport. Alafu, yeah. such video in your network, uh, estrogen dominance, health and wellness sport. Estrogen dominance, health and wellness sport. Well, Chani, Andike. Dr. Inaito, Estrogen, dominance. Alafu wandike health and wellness sport. Itakuletea kila kitu. Sa, karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana. Following me for a week is not enough. You can follow me for a week and do nothing, okay? Just follow me for a week and do nothing. And then after two weeks, start doing what you have to do now. After you've understood the content. Do not just bump into one of my videos and you decide, oh, I've met Dr. Lewis, now we have to do this. And then you're fasting. And you're fasting in your kitchen, you have seed oil. So I'm like, hey, 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 what is the fast for?